you are any of you noticing the difference in how you are standing or how actually, standing feels yeah actually yeah, uh, i felt uh, after doing this palakasana i felt a remarkable difference for uh, playing badminton actually earlier i used to get my shoulder pain actually after two hours of playing uh -huh. but, uh, this time i did not this sunday i did not uh, saturday sunday i did not had any pain actually very nice very very good actually so that's why like i have a motivation to continue it actually <laughs> continue uh, sure sure absolutely it's I, uh, important standing also yeah i i want uh, i will notice about standing also uh, uh, i haven't uh, noticed it like uh, consciously maybe i will start noticing that sure and anybody else seeing any difference or because we have started practicing palakasana hold for longer not i mean not specifically jay but i have seen that uh, when we started off with palakasana mm -hmm. uh, even 30 to 45 minutes whatever uh, effort was needed right yeah now at that time things are very stable i mean mm -hmm. you start probably shaking and shivering a little bit uh, later yeah uh, in in the hold Yes. So, uh, I mean, from that point of view, I think the strength is definitely going up. Very nice. Very nice. <clears throat> Anybody else uh, share uh, wanting to share any observations? Yeah, it's almost uh, a second what Sini was saying. Um, yeah, that is definitely. I feel I'm started feeling more lighter. Yeah. Um, not that when you start itself, you feel like stopping it. So yeah. that is completely gone, um, yeah. and uh, the the urge to continue for a longer time is there. Uh, yeah. So the I think breathing in and breathing out, not getting too stiff, a lot of improvements I would say from the day we started. So very good. Uh, yeah, that's my experience. Thank thanks for sharing. Yeah, one more thing I have noticed is that uh, the rest of the body, right? I mean, usually when we used to, I mean, at least when I used to do the plank initially, uh, either my shoulder or lower back or my some other part would sort of give up earlier. Yeah. Now when I finish the two minute hold, right? My abs are a, a little sore. Yeah. So that's that is, I mean, that I found it very encouraging because previously it wouldn't happen for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meaning others have grown stronger. The rest of the body, in fact, the whole body has grown stronger to allow you to stay in that posture. It's not just one part. Never is it one part. <laughs> and so good observation, Srini. <clears throat> good. Um, Today, I want to introduce uh, something called uh, Chandra Namaskar. It is much, much of, uh, it shares much of the postures with Surya Namaskar, except with um, one or two changes. Um, <clears throat> since we are in introducing Chandra Namaskar, the whole Today, the session would be few postures um, held for a while. Not too much of a, you know, going through postures, a lot of postures, more vigorous. This is more a stay and stay with it kind of a, a practice. Uh, this is more in line with yin yoga. I don't know if you've heard of yin yoga. Yang yoga is what we normally practice where we are more vigorously practicing. Postures are either postures are vigorous or we repeat more times. But today we will select few postures and we will stay and Relax into that to the extent that we can. Any questions before we begin? Any comfortable seated postures?
Eyes softly closed. Sitting just a bit taller. Not with a lot of effort. Just a bit, pulling the roof of your head just a bit higher. You might have to slightly engage your abdomen to do that. A slight engagement of the abdomen. Relax the shoulders. Palms up. <clears throat> what are the sensations around your palms? In your palms. A cloud of sensations with palms being up. And imagine that cloud growing. And imagine your entire body as a cloud of sensations. Now your entire body, you can feel the sensations. Sensations could be pressure, touch, temperature. Hot or cold. Sensations of taste in the mouth to smell of the room. And sensations of visual field either being static or dynamic. And all of these sensations are a cloud and that is your body. Or that is how the body appears in our consciousness. As we pay attention to all the various forms of inputs, Three deep breaths. And continuing to observe the changes in the cloud of sensations as you take deep, three deep breaths. Normal breathing after three deep breaths. Let us take a resolution to pay attention. Throughout the practice, 
inward. Which is the basis for our life experience. And contact, real contact with life is only right now. Palms to the heart center. Tilting your head forward. Gently open your eyes. Inhaling, arms by the side, palms going up and together. Exhaling, palms coming down to the chest, looking down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. One more round. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Release. Come up to standing. Feet. You can start with the feet six inches apart. Allow the toes to directly point forward. Close your eyes and feel the weight of the body on your feet. Three deep breaths with the awareness of your breath on your feet, the soles of your feet. Feel the breaths on the soles of your feet. Gently open your eyes. Feet close together. Let's practice Pada Bandha. First. Pada Bandha. We have um, practiced at various times. Mula Bandha, Uddhyana Bandha, Jalandhara Bandha. Pada Bandha. With the feet close together. Activate the inner arches and pull the inner arches up. Kneecaps held straight, pulled up. You might want to press down the ball of the foot underneath the big foot. Sorry, big toe. Big toes. Below the big toe, the ball of the foot, pressing down on it. And wake up the inner arches of your feet. The inner legs are active. And that activation can, you can feel it all the way going up. Rest of the body relaxing. Five. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Bring your feet comfortably wider. Relax. Hands on your waists. Gentle back bend. Pelvis moving forward. Focus on chest going higher, 
chest move the chest higher you can even tuck your chin in and look up at the ceiling directly above but focus on getting the chest up five four three two one inhaling come to center and bending full forward hold the elbows full forward bend and hold the elbows relax the shoulders head down and observe how it feels on your feet are you on your toes are you on your heels can you make some micro adjustments to bring more even weight on your feet 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 release the arms down arms hanging loose if they are reaching the mat bend at the wrist so the rest of the arm can hang loose in fact bend the wrist so your palms are not touching the mat so your shoulders can relax down five four three two one hands on your waist inhaling come up release the arms stand relaxed feet hip width apart hands on the base arthakati variation inhaling center exhaling bending toward the right wall arthakati variation left hip is going toward the left wall and your right elbow is pointing down left elbow is pointing up turn and look at the ceiling turn your head and look at the ceiling Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, straighten up. Take a deep breath, exhale. Arthakati variation on the other side, bending toward the left wall. Left elbow pointing down, right elbow pointing up. Shifting your right hip toward the right wall. Turn your head and look up. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhaling, come to center and release arms. Arms up parallel to the ground. Bend at the wrists. Palms facing the walls. Relax the shoulders. 
five, four, three, two, one. Release the arms. Take a deep breath, exhale. Front of the mat. Before we practice uh, Chandra Namaskara, let us practice Ashwa Anjanaya Nasana. And that <clears throat> instead of going from Ashwa Sanchalana to plank in Chandra Namaskara, we go from <clears throat> Uttana, Ash, um, Sanchalana, and then Anjanaya Nasana. And uh, that is a difference. And so let's practice Anjanaya Nasana and then we'll incorporate that in Chandra Namaskara. Feet close together, Namaskara Mantra. Inhaling back bend, exhaling forward bend, inhaling right foot back, <clears throat> drop your right knee down, right ankle pointing back. Right, um, sorry, right toes pointing to the back. Hands on your waist, come up straight. Allow the arms to hang loose down. And gently take your um, body just a bit back, getting the hips to go forward, hips going forward, and shoulders hanging back, arms hanging back. Five, four, three, two, one. Go back to Ashwas and Chalana. Left foot back plank. Adho Mukha. Right foot forward between the palms. Left knee down, left toes pointing back, hands on your waist, come up straight. Allow the arms to hang loose and take your upper body just a bit back and hips going forward. We are preparing for uh, asana with this posture so allow the hips to relax five four three two one ashwas and chalana right foot back plank drop your knees down vajrasana relax What we just did is a preparation for Anjana Asana. So we will have the back knee down, back ankle stretched back, and then we will get into a back bend. And that posture would be what we will do right after Ashwa Sanchalana in Chandra Namaskar. Three deep breaths. Let's practice on Janayana Asana. Come to plank posture. Adho Mukeshwanasana.
let's settle down in Adomuka just a bit. Make the micro adjustments. You can be on the toes. If you're not able to land the heels down, that is OK. But keep the back as much straight as you can. Um, Sanjay, can you slightly bend the knees? Slightly bend the knees. Uh, bend the knees slightly. And get your seat bones up and chest going toward the knees. Keep the knee slightly bent. Keep the knee slightly bent. Ah, yes. Um, you might want to try that. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling left foot forward between the palms. Ashwas and Chalana. Drop the right knee down. Right ankle stretched back, right toes pointing to the back, hands on your waist, straighten up. Allow the exhalations to move the hips forward and down. You can bend the left knee deeply, not a problem. You can bend the knee, left knee as much as you need to. Arms straight up. Shoulder width apart, palms facing front, palms facing front. Next inhalation, back bend and look up at the ceiling. Arms going back. Press the right ankle down as much as you can. Back bend. Anjane Nasa. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, Ashwasanchalana. This is also, this is uh, called the crescent or Ardha Chandra posture. Even though we practice Ardha Chandra asana from Trikonasana, this is also a half moon posture. Left foot back plank. Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Inhaling right foot forward between the palms. Drop the left knee down, left ankle pointing back, left toes pointing back. Hands on your waist, straighten up. And Allow the exhalations to relax the hips down and to the front. Arms up, palms facing the front. Next inhalation, back bend. Hips going forward and down, arms going toward the back wall and look up at the ceiling. Keep pressing the left ankle as much as you can press the left ankle down, the left hip gives way. Five, four, three, two, one. Ashwasan Chalana. Right foot back plank. Drop your knees down. Vajrasana. Relax. Balasana, bending forward. Take the arms closer to the body, palms facing up. If your forehead is not reaching the ground, you can lift the seat bones up to allow your forehead to reach down. Five. 
for relaxed shoulders. Shoulders going toward the mat. Shoulder blades going away from each other. Three. Two. One. Vajrasana. Cat posture. Allow the spine to go down, look up. With exhalations, abdomen uh, or allow the spine to go down with inhalations. Keep the chin up. As you inhale, allow the spine to go down. You can allow the chest also to go down, getting the shoulder blades slightly closer together on the back. Shoulder blades going toward each other on the back, just a bit. Abdomen relaxed and allow the inhalations to pull the spine down. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Next exhalation, look down, arch your back up. Shoulder blades going away from each other as much as you can. Abdomen engaged. Chin going toward the chest. Slightly move your upper body toward the back to stretch the lower back. Gently move toward the back. There may be a bend in the knees, not a problem, or more of a bend. But you should be able to feel this lower back stretch, head completely down. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Adomukeshwanasana. Next inhalation, right foot forward between the palms. Next exhalation, left foot forward between the palms. Head down, relax. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, hands on your waist, inhaling straight now. Release the arms, stand relaxed. Let's practice three rounds of Chandra Namaskara together. Watch for instructions. Tadasana. Three deep breaths. Namaskaram. Inhaling back bend. Exhaling forward bend. 
Inhaling, left foot back, long step back, Ashwa. Drop the left knee down, left ankle back, left toes back, hands on the waist. Come up, inhale. Next inhalation, Anjane Nasta, arms up, going back, look up. Next exhalation, Ashwa Sanchalana. Next exhalation, Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Right foot back and Adho Mukha. Next inhalation, next exhalation, Ashtanga Namaskara. Exhaling, Ashtanga Namaskara. Inhaling, Bhujanga Asana. Press the arms as much as you can and come up as much gap between your ears and shoulders you can keep the knees elbows bent not a problem but shoulders away from ears toes pointing back next exhalation adho mukashvanasana Inhaling, left foot forward between the palms. Right knee down, right ankle back. Next inhalation, Artha Chandrasana or Anjaneenasana. Exhaling, Ashwasanchalana. Next exhalation, Uttanasana. Pull forward bend. Next inhalation, Hasta Uttana, back bend. Exhaling, Namaskara Uttara. Release arms. Take a deep breath, exhale. Namaskar Mudra. Inhaling back. Exhaling forward. Inhaling right foot back. Drop your knees down. Right ankle back. Anjane Nasta. Inhaling. Exhaling Namaskar Mudra. Ashwasanchalana. Exhaling, Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Next inhalation, right foot forward between the palms. Left knee down, left ankle back. Inhaling, Artha Chandrasana, Ranjane Nasana. Exhaling, Ashwasanchalana. Next inhalation, Uttana. Oh, sorry, right foot back. Right, sorry, take the right foot back. Adho Mukha. Exhaling, Ashtanga Namaskara. Inhaling, Bhujanga. Exhaling, Adho Mukha. Inhaling, right foot forward between the palms. Drop the left knee down. Inhaling, Anjaneenasana. Exhaling, Ashwasanchalana. Next exhalation, Uttanasana. Inhaling back. Exhaling Namaskar Mudra. Release the arms and relaxed.
observe your breath on your feet. Next two rounds, we will practice. First, uh, the dif first difference is we will start. We do this with the left leg going back. Usually, we start the Surya Namaskara with the right leg going back. That being one difference. Next, we will, even though the first round we practice. Anjana Asana on both sides, going back and going forward. We'll practice Ardha Chandra Asana. When we are taking the right, sorry, left foot back, we will do Ashra once. And then when we take the right foot back, we will do um, Ashva and then Anjana Asana once. And so that will be the one full round of we did extra Anjana and Asanas to get into a practice. Three deep breaths. Feet close together. Third Asana. Namaskar Mudra. Inhaling back. Exhaling forward. Inhaling left foot back. Drop the left knee down. Inhaling Anjanayanasana. Exhaling Ashvasanchalana. Next exhalation Adomukashvanasana. Inhale. Exhaling Ashtanga Namaskara. Inhaling Bhujanga. Exhaling Adho Mukashvanasana. Inhaling left foot forward. Exhaling right foot forward. Inhaling back. Exhaling Namaskara. Take a three D. Take a D breath exhale. Continuing on the right side, inhaling back. Exhaling forward. Inhaling right foot back. Drop in right knee down, inhaling Anjana Exhaling Ashwa. Next exhalation, Adomukashvanasana. Next exhalation, Ashtanga Namaskara. Inhaling Bhujanga. Exhaling Adho Mukha. Inhaling right foot forward. Exhaling left foot forward. Inhaling back. Exhaling Namaskara. Release the arms. Stand relaxed. Third round, we will hold each of the postures for five counts. Three D breaths. Tadasana, feet close together. Namaskar Mudra. Inhaling back bend and hold the posture. Five, four, three, two, one. Next exhalation, Uttanasana. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Inhaling left foot back. Five, four, three, two, one. Left knee down. Inhaling Anjana in Asana. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhaling Ashwa. Next exhalation, Adho Asana. Inhalation, left foot forward between the palms. Left foot back. Adho Mukha. Next exhalation, Ashtanga Namaskara. Drop your knees down, chest between the palms, chin down. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Inhaling Bujangasana. Five, four, three, two, one. Next exhalation, Adho Mukashwanasana. Next inhalation, left foot forward. Next exhalation, right foot forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Next inhalation, back bend. Five, four. Three, two, one. Next exhalation, Namaskara. Five, four, three, two, one. Next. Inhalation, back bend. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Next exhalation, full forward bend. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Next inhalation, right foot back, long step, Ashwa. Drop your right knee down. Next inhalation, Anjana in Asana. Five, four, three. Two, one. Next exhalation, Ashwa Sanchalana. Next exhalation, Adho Mukashwana Asana. Five, four, three, two, one. Next exhalation, Ashtanga Namaskara.
five, four, three, two, one. Next inhalation, Bhujangasana. Press the palms, straighten the elbows as much as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Next exhalation, Adhomukha Shwanasana. Five, four, three, two. One. Next inhalation, right foot forward between the palms. Next exhalation, left foot forward, Uttana. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Next inhalation, back bend, Asta Uttana. Five, four, three, two, one. Namaskar, Release the arms. Lie down on your back. Make any final movements before proceeding to Shavasana. Make any final movements so you don't have to move at all for the next few minutes in Shavasana. legs comfortably separated arms a bit away from the body palms facing up if that relaxes your arms and shoulders the arm position in a way that your shoulders are completely relaxed if palms facing up is not relaxing you Find the most effortless positions for the arms and the legs. You can turn your head right and left and find a nice spot for the back of the head without any strain on the neck or throat. Relax your entire head. Jaws relaxed. Cheeks relaxed. Eyeballs relaxed. Forehead relaxed. Relax the shoulders. Relax the arms. Relax the middle back and lower back. Relax the hips. Are you holding on to the legs? If you're holding on to the legs in some posture, relax the hips joints. So let the arms be taken over by gravity. 
sorry, legs be taken over by gravity. Feet falling to the sides. Gently watching your breath. The entire body is a cloud of sensations. And the breath changing the cloud in a rhythmic way. The shape of the cloud changing with the breath coming in and out. Gently come out of Shavasana. Any comfortable meditative posture. Take the arms back, catch the left wrist with the right hand. Inhale, growing taller, exhaling, bending forward from the hips. Thanking Mother Earth. Inhaling, come on. Rub your palms. Massage your closed eyes. And gently blink your eyes open. Namaste. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much. Have a good evening ahead. Times are flying. Another week starting. Thank you. Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.